have to understand that not all the fabrics can work for that body type. Mm -hmm. And the best, also it's important to get right fabric for your pants. Mm -hmm. I mean, denim is denim. You know, we love denim and we work on denim. Stretch is also good. Mm -hmm. But like if I'm making a trouser pants, it's like a drapey. You know what the drapey means? Drapey is something that is um, heavy and when it's heavy, it's just smoother. Mm -hmm. The hardest fabric for pants is a satin, you know? Mm -hmm. It always shows too much um, uh, uh, whiskers. You know, you want the cleat. So this is wool, right? There's no whiskers, it's the oh, cleat. Oh, those marks there? Yeah, yeah, marks oh, there. Oh, I can't stand those. I didn't and, know there was a name for them. Okay. Yeah, whiskers, Ugh. you know? Uh, they're so hard to get rid of. Care. Is it bad to not have? It's bad no, to have it's them. Not like you know, if you, I, I had my pants that I was wearing metallic. Nothing I can do about it. It's the type of fabric you sit down and you get whiskers. I thought for me, I can diagnose. Is it because of the pattern or because of the fabric? You know, sometimes a wrong pattern causes this whiskers, the wrong shapes. Okay. But sometimes it's just like even stretch the teen cotton satins, there's nothing I can do about really? those. It all depends. You gotta be a right professional to diagnose this, um, you know. I do have on my website, the pants that I make, it does have a little a wrinkle I'll wear next time. Mm -hmm. good. Nothing I can do about it because it's that uh, a viscose polyester blend has this coating okay. and to just get a little bit of this yes. uh, because it's it's got to be tight. I get this and it doesn't bother me because it's a, I know it's right pants and it's a Sally, but it's a combination of the pattern, fabric and body shape. You know, yes. it's a tons of challenges. You got to have a right body, a right pattern and uh, the uh, fabric for the pants.